For five days, I'm bringing back the women erased from medical history. Day five is Lady Mary Wortley Montague. She survived smallpox, but it left her face permanently scarred. The disease had taken her brother's life, so she knew how devastating it could be. In 1717, she accompanied her husband to Constantinople, where he served as ambassador to the Ottoman Empire. There, she witnessed something unfamiliar in Europe, a practice called variolation, where a small amount of smallpox matter was scratched into the skin. The goal was to trigger a mild case of the disease, followed by lasting immunity. It had been used in the region for generations. Mary was impressed. She wrote detailed letters describing what she saw and even had her own son variolated. When she returned to England in 1721, she arranged for her daughter to be variolated in front of London physicians, likely the first such case in Britain. The response was mixed. Some doctors were curious, others were skeptical calling the myth a risky, foreign, or unscientific, even saying it was something only ignorant women in uncivilized cultures did. In the years that followed, English physicians began to test and refine the procedure. It slowly gained acceptance, especially during the smallpox outbreaks. In 1722, the Princess of Wales had her children variolated. With royal approval, the practice became more widespread. Mary didn't invent variolation, but she was one of the first to document it for European audiences and helped open the door to a new way of thinking.